In this question, we have a company that produces bags of sugar whose masses can be modeled by a normal distribution. The mean of the distribution is 1000 grams and its standard deviation is 3.5 grams. We also know that a bag is rejected for sale if its mass is less than 995 grams. In question part A, we have to find the probability that a randomly selected bag is rejected for sale. Let's denote the mass of a bag with the letter X. Then, in mathematical language, we can write that we want to find the probability that X is less than 995. Even though it is not obligatory, I strongly recommend that on normal distribution questions, you begin by drawing a normal distribution sketch. This sketch does not have to be perfect, and it can look something like this. I will label the mean at the center of the distribution. There are two main reasons why I recommend drawing a sketch. The first is that it might help you better visualize the probability that you are looking for. The second is that in case your calculator work is incorrect, a sketch is considered as working shown. So even if your final answer is incorrect, you might earn some method marks. Let's show on the sketch the probability that we are looking for. 995 is approximately here, and we are looking for the probability that x is less than 995, so this probability is represented by the following area. From here, we'll use our calculator to find the answer. Since this is a normal distribution question, we have to choose distributions, which we can do by pressing second and then vars. We are looking for a probability on this normal distribution, therefore we'll choose normal CDF, so option 2. The probability is at the lower tail of the distribution, so theoretically our lower limit is negative infinity, which, as you can see, is already represented by the number negative 1 times 10 to the power of 99. Just to note that if you would like to learn about normal distribution calculator work in a bit more detail, feel free to watch the calculator video that I made about normal distribution. Continuing, for our upper limit, we'll put in 995, for the mean 1000, and for the standard deviation 3.5. Now we just have to scroll down to paste and press enter twice to get the answer. Remember that we have to round to three significant figures, and here the third significant figure is 5, while the fourth significant figure is 6. Because of this, we'll round up and get that the probability is 0.0766. An exam taking tip to take away from here is something that I've already mentioned earlier. It is that on normal distribution questions, it is good practice to sketch the distribution in the first steps of your solution. A sketch might help you better visualize what you're looking for, and in case you make a calculator mistake, you can still earn marks for showing your work.